Hey guys, welcome back. Let's clean our bowls. Linear rails and bearings are shipped with a protectant covering them to avoid corrosion. This protectant is supposed to be cleaned off and replaced with a lubricant. There are many different opinions and guidelines, however I'm going to show you my method and one that should last the life of this machine. First, we are going to disassemble our bearing blocks and bath them in 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to dive all the way into removing all the balls, cleaning and replacing them, although this would be the best way to ensure the block is fully cleaned. I will show you a method that I use that has served me well. First, let's remove our bearing end seals from these HGH15CA blocks. That is two screws at the top and one M3 at the bottom. Once you have these removed, place them in the bath and fill with IPA. Now remove the bearing retainer and place the block in the bath. Gently work the bearings with a brush. Keep rotating the bearings through the trace. You will see the protectant coming out the other end as you do this. Remember, with HDH blocks, there are four sets of balls. One on the top side, which is hard to see here. Repeat on all four sets until you can see that no more protectant is coming out. You will feel the bearings freeing up while you do this. Once you are happy with how things look, remove the bearing block and other parts from the bath and wipe them clean with the microfiber. Then give them a few minutes for the rest of the IPA to evaporate. Slide your bearing retainer back in and place your bearing seals back on each end. Reinstall the two screws and the one M3. On one of the sides, if you want to use a small grease gun to pack this with grease after they have been installed, go ahead and use the grease nipple that is provided. If you're going to pack these with grease yourself, use the M3 instead. Here is an example of a cleaned HGH15 block. And here is one fresh from the factory. Okay, let's move over to our MGN15C blocks. It's not sliding freely.
Again, remove the dust covers. It's just two screws here as there is no grease nipple option on these. Place them and the bearing blocks in the bath and work the bearings just like you did with the HGH 15 blocks. There are only two sets of bearings in each block. If you accidentally pop a bearing out, you can carefully place it back into the guide. Once you no longer see protectant coming out and the bearings are moving freely, remove them from the bath and wipe clean with a microfiber. Then let them sit for a short period of time while the rest of the IPA evaporates. While you wait, take your microfiber cloth and put a little bit of IPA on it. Use this to wipe down your rails and remove any protectant on them. Now slide your bearing retainer in and place your dust guards on, reinstalling the two screws, repeat on the other side. Okay, now things have freed up quite a bit. There is still some resistance from the dust guards and due to the weight of these, they don't quite fall like the HGH blocks do. Now, because there is no grease nipple on the MGN15, we need to lubricate the balls. I have opted for using white lithium grease. I'm going to use a Q-tip to apply this. Simply cover the balls as much as you can and make sure they run all the way through the guides. Repeat on the other side and clean off any excess. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys, stay tuned for some more videos of how this machine runs now since the upgrade.